world's oldest profession is not whoring, it is storytelling. Of course, there's a certain amount of overlapping, or so it has always seemed to the storytellers. My first 20 years in the theater, I was always vaguely ashamed of my profession. It seemed all narcissism, vanity of vanities, rendered quite literally. Then someone told me a story about Lionel Barrymore. Near the end of his life, he was wrathfully explaining to some young and foolish actors that theirs was a profession antedating any other, an answer to man's first communal need to understand about killing the nature of it, which then leads to the only conundrum, death itself. All the recent speculative blockbusters in anthropology and zoology regarding instinctual behavior versus learned ritual would seem to bear out Mr. Barrymore. No moment in an actor's lifetime ever again will equal his first entrance onto the stage. It is a splendid and terrible happening, outweighing first love and last, and the younger the actor, the more indelible the moment. I had just turned 14. The next morning, there were no more of those awful questions. I had become a storyteller, though I did not know it yet. Looking back from here, there can't be any doubt that it was a moment possessed of the magic without which we would all wither, atrophy in numbed withdrawal. Thank God and Eve and the Divine Serpent for our magic. The Eve, whom we all love best and look for all our lives, listened to the first story and believed it. She bit the apple and learned about herself. She listened to the first storyteller and learned about death. It was the only thing she and Adam didn't know. It wasn't sex at all, of course. It was death the serpent talked of. That's what the idea of sin is, a child's primer on death. And, like most child's primers, it is not simply foolish nonsense. The idea that the wages of sin is death is such a patent truism that it becomes dangerously untrue, misleading for children's minds the implosion of which untruism we are just now approaching for the first time. When Eve took the apple, it was the first moment of magic. The storyteller gives us magic tricks that transform literally and before our eyes one thing into another, unexplained and unexplainable. That is what storytelling is about, tricks having to do with death. For a moment in the day, the theater tries to do what the church promises to do over a lifetime of training, to take away fear, hence anger, anguish, by linking us to death in great intimacy, and then explaining it away self-righteously, melodrama, by making love to death, tragedy, or by scoffing at death, comedy. Each of these forms suggests that if you have the will, the courage to believe in it, in man, in yourself. You are superior to, in control of, all things, even death. That's what storytelling was invented to do for us.